Excuse me, little dog. Alright, guys. It is a beautiful, little bit smoky Sunday evening here in the end times in paradise at Bugs in a Jar Farm, where I just have had two reservations in the last one minute. In the middle of this rant, this five minute rant, get two reservations, so I'm feeling good. I just made several hundred dollars in the past five minutes uh, here on this lovely, much more lovely now, Sunday evening, uh, July 28th, 2024. And guys, uh, I guess, do I have to eat my hat? Or do I have to eat some crow? I don't know which, which one is uh, the correct uh, saying here. Because, guys, uh, I, I, I just have to apologize to Kamala Harris, if that's how you pronounce her name. I honestly don't know how to pronounce this bitch's name. Uh, I, I have to say... You know, I've been talking trash about Kamala Harris, but I don't know a goddamn thing about the woman. I, I, I have no clue what Kamala Harris's voice sounds like. Okay, if I heard, if someone played a recording of Kamala Harris and Regis Philbin said, Hey, man, I'll give you $1 million to tell you who this is. I would say keep your million. I've never heard. Her, I've never heard her voice. I, I I don't give a fuck to hear one word out of Kamala Harris's mouth. There there's nothing that that woman could could say to me that would would, would, would hold any interest. So anyway, uh, I've been a bad boy, and and talking trash about a woman I know absolutely nothing about now. Sandy did uh, remind me uh, last week that, that Hamlin, you do realize that Kamala Harris is a childless old cat lady. Uh, she's one of these uh, barren, uh, wombed, uh, you know, cat ladies that uh, J.D. Vance uh, talking about running the country or whatever. Uh, that childless old cat ladies. So, so I, I have to admit when, when I when I learned last week that that uh, Kamala Harris is not a breeder. Uh, I, there there was the first crack in, in uh, my trash talking Kamala Harris. If the woman is not a breeder, she deserves to be in the damn White House. When was the last time we had a non-breeder in the White House? Have we ever had a non-breeder? Now, I guess she's the stepmother to some other breeder's children, but we're going to give Kamala a pass. She's never had kids. So things... We're getting a little shaky, but I wasn't ready to come here and, and eat any crow yet. But now, thanks to Fox News, Donald Trump, and especially Elon Musk. I want to thank Elon Musk. Thank you, Elon, for uh, convincing Ham on Little Tail that he has he has been underestimating the childless old cat lady Kamala Harris and I have found out something from Elon Musk that wipes the the slate clean I have now become the single biggest Kamala Harris fan on the planet uh, I've got to uh, I, I guess I'm gonna have to to uh, to change my voter registration from Colorado to New York, baby, uh, so I can uh, what? I'm smelling something that smells like burning plastic. That's not good. 
So I said, what smells like burning plastic? Anyway, hopefully we won't go up in flames in this uh, in this video. Is it this light? Is that what smells like burning plastic? Is it the plug? Does the plug smell like burning plastic? Anyway, uh, Elon Musk has called Kamala Harris a word I have never heard in my life, yet I am one. I, 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 am, a, I, I am one, and uh, so Kamala Harris and I, and, and Hamma Littletail, have something in common, two things. Not only are we both childless, but Kamala Harris, according to Elon Musk, as he wrote on uh, X, I guess he's the owner of uh, that uh, social media thing that I never went on when it was T, and now it's changed letters. Never been on it in my entire life. But uh, Elon Musk, who owns the goddamn thing, was on it, calling Kamala Harris an extinctionist. An extinctionist. It's the word extinction with the letters I-S-T on it. An extinctionist. According to Elon Musk, Kamala Harris is an extinctionist. So I go online for the definition of an extinctionist. This is your dictionary. An extinctionist is someone who believes that only, only the extinction of humanity will lead to the recovery of the Earth's environment. Unfucking believable. I I I have been uh, the leading extinctionist for years. I have been coming out here preaching that the only thing uh, that will lead to the recovery of the Earth's environment is the extinction of humanity. This is why every goddamn one of us on this planet need to go to sleep tonight and not wake up tomorrow. So, Kamala Harris and Hambone Little Tail are childless extinctionists. So, now that Elon Musk has uh, filled me in that Kamala Harris believes that only nothing short of only nothing else uh, the extinction of the human race will lead to the recovery of the earth's environment and hallelujah uh, Kamala you're my girl uh, you get a free tiny house at bugs in a jar farm if you want me to interview you uh, for Humpty Dumpty Tribe and Collapse Chronicles, because if you get the endorsement of the Doomers, uh, you are in like Flint, lady. In like Flint. Uh, if uh, you, you get the endorsement of the Extinctionist. So what was it that led Elon Musk to claim that Kamala Harris, the childless old cat lady, is an extinctionist. Well, apparently what it was, according to Fox News, that back in September of last year, Kamala Harris uh, was speaking to some college students at some little community college in Pennsylvania where she said this and Donald Trump has found the smoking gun and is and is waving it in the air and this was the quote uh, from Kamala Harris 
I have heard young leaders talk with me about a term they have coined, climate anxiety, which is a fear of the future and the unknown of whether it makes sense for you to even think about having children. Hallelujah. And uh, so Donald Trump has somehow found this video. So he gets on X yesterday after hearing uh, Kamala Harris say uh, verbatim what I just read. And this is how Donald Trump spins it. Watch this resurfaced video shows Kamala Harris suggesting that young people should not have children due to climate change. She calls climate anxiety the fear of the future and the unknown of whether it makes sense for you to even think about children. Which in no way says she is suggesting that young people should not have children due to climate change. So of course, uh, Donald Trump w was taking this quote completely out of context, putting it on his feed, and then uh, the, the owner of the, uh, the uh, ex himself, Elon Musk, weighed in, quote, she, meaning Kamala Harris, is an extinctionist. Yes, one more time. According to Elon Musk, Kamala Harris believes that only the extinction of humanity will lead to the recovery of the Earth's environment. There you go. Kamala Harris will be the first person uh, I have voted for for president since I voted for Jesse Jackson in the 1988 primary. I've never voted for president since then. Now, do keep in mind that every election that I have voted in, every single person, every single issue in my entire life, that I have voted for has lost. Every single one of them. My record stands at 100% loss. So uh, I'm not sure Kamala Harris wants Hambone Little Tail the extinctionist vote or not, but she doesn't need my vote to lose. But now, uh, uh, so anything bad I've, I've ever said about that clueless bitch, uh, Kamala Harris, I retract and I apologize. Any catless, any catless, childless old cat lady who believes that the extinction of humanity is the only thing that'll save this planet. I mean, obviously, guys. I mean, clearly. Uh, all right. But. That doesn't change my prediction that she's going to lose by a landslide, unfortunately. So get out there and vote Kamala to save the planet. Bye, guys. Oh, boy. Crazy. Crazy world.